number three? I am. Perfect, so let's go ahead and give that a swirl and let us know your thoughts about wine number three. Oh, I like. More fruit forward. I feel like um, not too much tannin. Like easy to drink, doesn't like suck your mouth dry. Like. So this is one that you could enjoy right away? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't need to age this wine, you don't think? Mm-mm. No, that's really good. And so if you were to give this wine a grade, what kind of grade would you give this wine? I would give it like a B plus. B plus? Yeah. So that's actually pretty high. So you, yeah. you, you must like this wine quite a it, bit. It, it's, I feel like it's easy to drink. Like she's the girl that's easy to talk to, like is everyone's friend. Very, very outgoing. Yes, very outgoing, friendly, approachable. Not like, you know, you're a little afraid she might be a little bitchy or something, you know? <laughs> like she's friendly. And if you were to pay for this wine, what do you think it would it would be worth? How much would you be willing to spend for this bottle? I would say like around $30 or so. Well, speaking of wine, I guess you've actually released your own label recently as well. Is that right? The Three Moons wine label? Yeah, we um, have been making Three Moons wine for over 10 years. But just this year in July, we released our first ever direct-to-consumer um, vintages. So we have a Sauvignon Blanc, a proprietary red blend, and a Cabernet Sauvignon. And what has that been like for you to, to oh, come up with your own wine label? I mean, it's been crazy. We had a huge um, wine party at Roots and Water, which is a wine club in Dallas that's amazing. And, um, you know, it, it's been like flying off the shelves, basically. I wish I could go back and order more barrels of 2018 juice because it's, it's going to be gone soon. And then you uh, plan to ramp it up in 2019 with additional yes. production? Yes. I am definitely going to buy more barrels next year. Shall we do the reveal? Yes, let's find out. So this is a Bordeaux. It's kind of an entry-level Bordeaux, so it'd okay. be about $15, $20. Oh. But you're right, it is very approachable now, and it's showing very, very well in its youth. It's from the, the 2019 vintage, and uh, the Bordeaux in particular has been getting more approachable recently. It's very expressive and aromatic, and, and certainly a very enjoyable wine, and one that's drinking well already. So B plus is an excellent, excellent grade for that. Well so done. So would you say this needs, it could be aged or it shouldn't be aged? It could be aged, but I wouldn't hold it for a very long time. You know, maybe it, it would potentially hold for about five or seven years, but with a wine like this uh, and the fruit and being as expressive and vibrant as it is right now, there's really no reason to wait and you may as well just dig in and enjoy it while it's fresh. I agree. Well, cheers, well done. Cheers. Well, Tiffany, we've come to wine number four. So let's go ahead and dig into this wine and give it a swirl and let us know your thoughts. It tastes a little bit more tannic. Um, I'm getting hungry, but I don't know if that's just because the time <laughs> is getting later. Um, I think it's got some good body on it, like a, some nice structure. Could age, but could drink now. Kind of, you know, one of those wouldn't age for too long. Um, I'd give it like a solid A minus, B okay. plus. Is there a certain food that you would enjoy pairing with this wine? I don't know why, I'm stuck on pizza now. Like I really want to, I'm gonna get on my phone and order us a pizza after yeah. this. So there's really no bad wine to have with pizza. So right, that's, <laughs> yeah. Pizza's always appropriate. Yes. You certainly go to Napa quite frequently uh, and you, you travel all over the place. Do you have any sense for where this wine may originate? I mean, it, it tastes like a Napa Valley wine. Like the, the one that you um, showed me from Italy, like that did not taste like Napa at all. And the Bordeaux, I felt like tasted very Bordeaux-like. But this, I feel like is more fruit forward, a little bit more of that like bright, lush Napa Valley fruit. So I would guess Napa for this. Well, should we do the reveal for wine number we four? We should. What in the world? Well, here we go. We've got the, <laughs> the Three Moons Estate Reserve. Oh my gosh. Well, now I graded an A. Yeah, I, changed, so. I changed my mind. And this is the, the prep red, the mm -hmm. proprietary red? Yes. So we have two red wines. Um, this is the proprietary red blend, which is made of the five classic Bordeaux varieties. Um, it is mostly um, Merlot, Cab Franc, and Cab Sauve. Um, but it also includes, I think, Petit, Petit Verdot. And what's the last one? Do you have a little bit of Malbec in there? Yes. Maybe? It's like 
two percent Malbec or something. Um, but um, we blended it, um, my husband helped me, and um, we created this proprietary red blend that is supposed to be sort of a red for people who say that they don't like red wine. I'm like, well, try my red because it's a little bit more approachable. Um, I think we it's not that tannic. Whereas if you start with a Cab Sauv, sometimes you're like, ooh, I, you know, and people are like, oh, I don't like red wine. I'm like, well, please try mine. So this is like what my interpretation of an approachable, easy to drink red. And so it does have some similarities to the wine that we tasted as wine number three, but this yes. one is from Napa, and uh, definitely the uh, the quality is up a notch. Yeah, and I think it's darker than the one that we had previously, right? It like is, when for you sure. pour it, like it's a richer, darker color. More intense, more concentrated. Yeah. And this is from the the outstanding 2018 vintage in Napa as well. Yes. Yes. Very good year. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>